Hey guys, Roy Van Fleet, RVV BGJ here. Sparring session with my friend Mark Lovegrove. First thing I'm going to do here is off of the Delaheva is I'm going to back step into a knee bar. This is something that you guys always uh, need to be careful about when you're playing with more uh, experienced opponents or especially someone who's having your leg locks. When I have my arm in a frame like this on his knee, it allows me to start shedding the Delaheva hook and also control the range so I can always get my hips over top of his leg. Here I back step, I immediately use my left arm to block his left leg so that he can't cross his legs together. I want to make sure I keep his leg isolated so I'm able to access the lever and extend the knee bar. Whenever you're dealing with leg locks, you have to find a way to isolate the two legs to keep them separated so that uh, we're going to be effective with finishing the submission. Mark's trying to get underneath me with a bit of a reverse De La Hiva, so I'm just framing him out so he can't get underneath me. He's going to start throwing that leg over going into a invert 411 position. I'm managing the range with frames so that I keep my knee line clear. Here, Mark is 310 pounds, I think, right now, so I'm holding onto his head, not trying to choke him or anything, but just trying to control some posture, keep myself super tight to him, because as soon as there's any space between us, he just lifts me and pushes me away. Here he has his leg coming a little bit across, so I try and leg drag. He does a good job of setting up a frame and hip escaping. Let's look at it again. It's a simple motion, but it's very good. I grab his foot, I drag it across. So Mark is going to go to the next available frame, which is his knee. So now he has his femur between uh, himself and me to manage the range. He's now going to slide his hips out to the side. He's going to start basing with that right leg to hip out and retain guard. Very good movement. Mark's been working on his uh, guard retention and it's showing. Here we go through a similar motion. Only this time I've evolved and I move into a Toriando pass. So I leg drag. Mark goes to the next available frame once again. His shin and his knee. So here he's able to start pushing me away once again with his femur. But I'm going to put my left hand on top of his left knee, right knee. I'm going to redirect it off to the side as I move to the left. Managing to get past. It's all about redirecting frames into levers when we're passing guard. Here, just speeding it up through. I think I'm kind of going for a Darce choke here, but he's got such big shoulders that I have a hard time controlling him. So I spin around to the other side. Now I'm going to do a back take here. Off of this roll. So important thing here, before his left hip hits the ground, watch my knee. Gets in that space, creates a wedge, a fulcrum point for me to pivot his hips on. And then watch my left leg I put it in the base and I have to make some adjustments, but I'm drawing power from the ground to push myself over. I'm not just going to be trying to uh, throw him over to the side. Now here, a little adjustment. I can't get a good bite on my left bicep and I can't get the arm behind his head to create a proper backstop. So I switch to the short choke, gable grip, close my elbow behind his shoulder for a rear naked choke over the jaw. Thank you guys for watching.